What's up guys? It is Bucket Mouth Bass back here again today and today I'm super excited to share some information with y'all. We're going to be going over my top summer baits of choice here in this video guys. I'm going to show y'all exactly what y'all need to use to catch bass at any point throughout the summer. All right guys, if y'all haven't considered subscribing, please go down and hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell so you don't miss anything here on this channel. There's gonna be awesome challenge videos coming soon and more informational stuff like this guys. And please take a second and just go down in the comments and let me know if you wanna see some more informational stuff or if y'all wanna see some more challenges or just whatever y'all wanna see, just go down in the comments and just let me know. All right guys, I'm gonna start with number five here on my top five. Uh, lure slash bait list here. So number five to start off this video. I got to go with the shaky head guys This is an extremely effective summer bass fishing uh, Bait or lure whatever you want to call it. I don't really care, but here it is guys I have a video on how to I actually like to rig these and how I fish them if y'all haven't seen that, I'll leave a link or if y'all want to learn how to actually fish them a little bit better, but it's pretty simple. I recommend a little uh, jig head like this. You can use, uh, they sell flathead jig heads that stand up. They sell uh, football jig heads that you can use and then they sell some that are like these. And I recommend a worm like this because actually when you cast this worm and it's in the water, this worm actually floats. So it'll actually stand up in the water like this. So pretend this is the bottom and it'll stand up like this. So this is an extremely effective rig to use guys, especially on those hot summer days guys, when the bass just don't want to bite anything and y'all can't get a bite, just throw this in there and twitch it a little bit. And I promise y'all will get a bite. You know, I love using this thing. I use this thing a ton at the lake, at ponds, whatever it doesn't matter these baits all work well at ponds and lakes like I just said all right guys moving up to number four on this list I gotta go with the trusty old Nico rig right here guys I also have a video on how to rig this there'll be a link up top right now and down below if y'all want to continue watching the video but it's super simple to rig it's not hard at all and it's got a ton of action to it guys so this is a great bait to throw when y'all just can't get a bite not a lot of people fish this as of now and like at the lakes and ponds that I fish at most people are throwing you know traditional Texas rigs you know normal crank baits or just a wacky worm but this Nico rig right here is just a wacky worm with that nail weight in the head as y'all can see right here and it just gives it a little bit different action in the water so it gives it the fish something that they haven't seen before I love fishing this guys if y'all have seen uh, some of my previous videos y'all know I love fishing this this is like one of the first things I'll pick up I fish this year-round but it works especially well in the summertime all right guys moving to number three on my list of top baits for summertime I gotta go with a jig but not only just any jig I gotta go with a finesse jig in specific it's really good for those hot summer days when the bass just don't want to bite downsize just a little bit but not too much and you know it's one of my favorite things to throw guys just go you know find some stumps or some cover whether you're fishing a lake or a pond and just pitch it in there cast it in there however y'all want to do it and just fish it back out real slow and fish th thoroughly around an area it's just a great way to get a bite during the summer guys and right here I actually have a Bass Pro Shops tungsten finesse jig. I'll leave a link to that if y'all want to go check it out. Another finesse jig I actually like to use is this little uh, Bitsy Flip. Uh, the stuff that I use, the links will be down below if y'all want to go check that stuff out. This is an extremely effective bait in the summertime guys, especially when the bite is tough. That's the reason I always like to have some finesse jigs with me on the boat guys. All right guys, moving to number two on my list, the top five summertime baits. I gotta go with the drop shot, guys. If y'all don't know what this is, I actually have a video on how to rig it. I'll leave a link for y'all right now. But this rig is super effective. I recommend throwing this on a spinning setup. You just throw it in there, obviously, 
and just let it sink down to the bottom and you can drag it across the bottom you can just twitch your rod just a little bit you can move it slow so in those hot summer days when you just can't get a bite with anything else i highly 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 recommend throwing this right here guys it's not too hard to rig you just have your weight on the bottom then you have your hook a little bit up the leader length here can vary i just have it about eight inches here just for video purposes i like to have it a little bit longer usually but this is extremely easy to fish and it's extremely effective especially in the summertime guys so now moving up to my number one lure of choice guys let's just build the suspense here cue the epic music My number one lure for the summertime, guys, is the topwater popper. I love this thing so much, guys. Early morning or in the evening, this thing is super effective. You can do a million different things with this bait, guys. You can throw it out there. You can pop it. You can walk it. I mean, you can pretty much do whatever you want with this bait. Guys, this is actually an Academy H2O Express brand topwater popper. I'll leave a link to it down below, like I said about everything else. It's only like two bucks, guys. Two to 250 is what I usually pick these things up for on a normal day. And there y'all go, I almost hooked myself in the finger. But this thing is super awesome. And another reason I love this bait is because of the exposed hooks. So your hookup ratio increases a ton. Like for me, I fish a lake where there's not really any cover or anything that I'm gonna get stuck on. So obviously I would recommend this, especially if y'all have open water and there's nothing that you would get these treble hooks stuck on. But a good substitute if y'all are fishing a pond with a lot of mat or lily pads would be this simple popping frog guys the reason i like the popper over the popping frog is because it has exposed hooks obviously so your hookup ratio goes up but obviously if there's a bunch of mat or there's lily pads or there's just a bunch of stuff and you can't fish this over it then i recommend just using a simple popping frog like this as a substitute for the actual popper you can walk this and you can pop this but the only thing is sometimes they're gonna short strike it and only grab the skirt and sometimes the you know you're just not gonna hook up as well as you would with an exposed treble hook bait like this popper right here all right guys so that's my top five summertime bass fishing baits or lures of choice guys but before y'all go watch a different video there is one other bait i want to mention to y'all it's not really part of the list but i just wanted to show it to y'all anyways it is the deep diving crankbait right here i have the strike king deep diving crankbait right here it dives about 12 feet i believe i bought it about a year ago it's super effective just go to go to an area and just bounce this thing against some rocks and you'll get a reaction strike when those bass just don't seem to want to bite guys so this is actually another bait that's very effective in the summertime but it just didn't make the list but it also works very well this time of the year all right guys that's it for today's video if y'all haven't subscribed already please please consider it go down and just hit that little subscribe button and hit the little bell so you don't miss anything here on this channel and thank y'all for watching and i will see y'all back here next time